What is going on, guys? It is Jake back at it again uh, with another beer review for, for all of you for your Wednesday night. I hope you're having a good night. Um, I definitely know I am. So today what we got, I'm actually really excited about this. I've never had this, but I have a feeling, and the guy told me that it's a really well-done beer. Um, what we have is a Double Daisy Cutter Double Pale Ale by Half Acre uh, Beer Company. And look at that can. I like that can. That's a, that's a sexy can for sure. That's a can that, if you're talking about marketing, and I did a lot of marketing classes and all that stuff, that's going to draw some attention. That's a really cool looking can. So I just want to get that out of the way. Um, but basically, Half Acre, I've noticed that when I like to try certain, um, when I try craft beers, you know, if I find a beer that's really, really good, um, I'll definitely go out and instead of just trying like, you know, beer from this place and this place, I'll try um, a new brewery, like a new company, and then start trying all their beers. Um, so I always kind of, you know, know what's good, what's not good, know what companies to go towards, um, and so on and so on. So recently, about the last couple months, maybe like three or four months, I've been trying all their beers, um, the Gone Away, the Deep Space, the... Navaja beer, which I actually was going to get today, but they didn't have it. I bought the, the last of it, I guess. Um, basically, they were all made by Half Acre, and Half Acre is from, I think it's Chicago. I know it's Illinois. Yeah, okay, so they're from Chicago for sure. So definitely, um, because that's from around here, I obviously will want to try it even more. And um, their beers have just been absolutely amazing, every one of them. And um, they've, they've all been so different. So, I know that there's a usual daisy cutter pale ale that people drink from them. Very common, but because it's like such a low percent, I've never had it. Heard good things though. So, this one is their double, you know, more intensive added version, I guess you can say. And I'm looking right now, um, Beer Advocates giving this an, a 98 and a 93 um, rating for the two different ratings. So, outstanding beer. It is 8%, which if I get, you know, if it's called Double Daisy Cutter and it's an Imperial, I'm going to think it's it's way more than 8%, which I'm really surprised about. But either way, um, it looks really good. I'm excited. So let me read you guys some notes and we'll get into it. Double Daisy Cutter is a monster version of the original Daisy Cutter Pale Ale. A heftier grain bill amps up the weight and double dry hopping ensures there's enough hops to recede your gums. Ooh. Sounds good. Anyways. Um, smells of hops, mangoes, citrus fruit, malts, well balanced. Better and malty. Not a lot of pine or hops, so I don't know how I feel about that. But that's just one person. Pours dark gold. Okay. White head that fades pretty fast. Smells of candied orange, citrus peel, caramel malt, uh, lightly grassy and lightly dank. Ooh. Taste of orange, um, citrus peel, like caramel malt, bready malt, pine tropical, light peach. Finish is dry, okay, with pine and floral linger, medium body and smooth, uh, medium carbonation. Let's see if there's anything else I can give you guys. Mm. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Um, tasty, citrusy, lots of pine hops. So they're saying the opposite. Interesting. Um, moderate amounts of tangerine and grapefruit is the main players in this brew. Everyone's saying it's really good though. But at the end, it's just some amazing beer. So I'm going to pour this. I used this microphone and put that back a little bit. Yeah, by the way, um, that beer last night. I think I might want to give that a lower review. Um, I got a headache and it just, it was really hard to drink. So I know I gave it a seven. I think I'm going to give it a six, six and a half maybe. It, it wasn't doing it for me. The guy was right. He was honest. He was like, you know, either people really liked it or didn't, or didn't like it. And I was trying to be nice. You know, I was trying to be more positive in review, but now if you want to know the truth, no go. Definitely. Okay. Now I think this is filtered. But I could be wrong. 
Does it say? No. Again, just check this out. That's a cool can, man. That's cool. I like that. Reminds me of the zebras. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, let's get ahead on this. It smells like your average craft beer. It smells good. It smells heavy, which I like. I like heavier, bigger beers, for sure. Okay, I'm getting the tropical notes. I'm getting uh, mango, citrus, pineapple, papaya. More of a mango, though, um, overall. Very citrusy. Very citrusy. So whoever said that this didn't have a lot of fruits in it, Maybe it was a, maybe it was expired. Who knows? I'm getting some breadcrumb. Um, not the cereal malts at all, which is good because I did not like that last night. The hops are pretty faint, though. I mean, you can smell them. I smell mosaic. Cascade. Some Armorillo hops for sure. Ooh. This smells really, really good. So I think this is going to be a great beer, to be honest. I really do. I think it's going to be good. So, salute guys. Let's see how it goes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is good. Wow. That is exactly what I was hoping for. That is awesome. Mm. Oof. Definitely a heavier beer. But the, the, the um the dry hopness, you know, the dry part of it makes it makes it pretty easy to drink. So, definitely want to be careful with this one, guys. It's an 8, and you can drink this one really fast. But, um, to get into the review, so this tastes like... The breadcrumb is what I first taste. It's the easiest. Breadcrumb, citrus, no grapefruit. No grapefruit, which, um... I'm actually happy about it. I actually like this without the grapefruit. It tastes like a, a heavier, um, imagine if they made like a, a double IPA from Too Hearted. This tastes a lot like Too Hearted to me with the citrus, the, um, the deeper citrus tones, which I really like. Absolutely. So the breadcrumbs, slight malt backbone, but not much, really not too much. Definitely doesn't overpower the beer. It's still pretty balanced. Citrus, pine, mango, definitely mango, maybe a hint of pineapple, I'm not really sure. Yeah, 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 definitely a little bit, a little bit of pineapple in there too. And I really like the dry hop in this, um, because it's not really that, that hoppy of a beer. The dry hop kind of intensifies it a little bit. It gives it the boost it needs, if that makes sense. Very, very good beer, though. I'm definitely going to get this again. The only thing I know for you guys, it probably won't be this expensive, because the place I go, for some reason, this guy just, like, completely upcharges everything. Um, it's a four-pack. I mean, you get, you know... Tall boys, four tall boys, eight percent. I paid seventeen bucks today, which is to me a lot of money. But like I said, I have seen beers at that place, and then I've seen it at different stores, and there's literally like a seven or five five to seven dollar difference. Like the dude one time, um, I bought a pack of cigarettes, and I bought the, the Nevada beer from these guys. And it was 25 bucks altogether. He charged me like 17.50 for the beer. 
Um, and then a few days ago, I think it was, I actually was somewhere else trying to find different beer. And they had the Navaja for ten ninety nine instead of 17 bucks at a different place. So it really depends on where you're going to go. Um, Binnie's, if they carry this, you're probably going to pay like 15 bucks. But I think it's worth it, honestly, for like a one-time thing. This beer is really good. This is really fantastic. Even though it does taste like um, most of the other beers you're going to get. It's what you want in a beer, which I know I say a lot, but that's the truth. If that's what you want, you're going to be happy with it, you know? Very good quality, though. The dry hotness, the citrus, the mango. Oh, um, I think that's about it. And the hops. The hops are, are very distinguishable, even though it's not as hoppy. Um, you can definitely from the smell and just from drinking it. You can tell, I mean, there's definitely some hops in this beer. Um, it is a full body beer. It is a heavy beer, which is good. And not too much malt. What I read, basically, to me, it was saying it was pretty malty, um, that you can taste it, but I don't taste it that much in this beer. I really don't. So I'm very, I'm very, very pleased with this. I am going to give this guy out of 10. I think I'm going to give this beer an 8. Absolutely. I think I'm going to give this an 8. This is really, really good. No, they say it it's filtered. Eh, can you tell? I don't know. I don't know, I can't really tell. But um fantastic. Fantastic. So to wrap this up guys, we have I'm gonna show the can one more time. I think it's just a stick can. Double Daisy Cutter from ha uh, Half Acre Beer Company from Chicago, Illinois, so from here. Absolutely. Four pack, um, that's probably me about 15 bucks for you. I paid 17 bucks today, which just ridiculous. In this beer, you're gonna get definitely a lot of citrus. Um, you're gonna get plenty of hop flavor. You're not missing out on any. It's dry hop, so it's a little smoother to me. Like, I can drink more of it faster. If that makes sense. Um, like I said, the citrus, the, um, mango, a little bit of pineapple, not too much. But basically just your usual tropical notes on um, what you would expect out of a really good beer. Because this beer is absolutely amazing. This is great. I'm definitely going to get this again um, if I see it. I will definitely purchase it. I bought the last one at the store I went to today. So uh, maybe we'll see if it's somewhere else. I don't know. So very, very good. 8 out of 10. Go get this beer. Uh, absolutely, guys. So I am Jake. I hope you have a good night. I'm going to go have a good night as well. Um, because this is an 8% beer, like I said, if you drink a couple of these, drive safe, eat some food, um, don't want anything bad happen to any of you guys. So, I am Jake, I will talk to you later, have a good night guys, um, and thanks for tuning in. Alright, love y'all, peace.